Remote Controlled Car A small remote controlled car with mass 1.6 kg moves at a constant speed of V equals 12.0 meters per second in a track formed by a vertical circle inside a hollow metal cylinder that has a radius of 5.00 meters. See the figure. So here is the vertical circle, radius 5.00 meters and the car is traveling inside this circle. What is the magnitude of the normal force exerted on the car by the walls of the cylinder at point A, so that's at the bottom of the track, and at point B at the top of the track? Okay, so we're going to first of all uh, note that here the R hat vector the uh, radial unit vector is pointing out from the center and uh, we can draw the free body diagram for the car at uh, to start with at point A. Alright, so this will be for part A of the problem. Now, what are the forces acting on the car at point A? Well, there will be the weight of the car, the gravitational force due to Earth, and there is the, because it's in contact with the circle, there will be a normal force that is pointing up. So those are the two forces. Um, so there is the weight of the car, which is mass of the car times the gravitational acceleration g, and there is a normal force acting on the car at point A, normal force at point A, and as you can see here, here the r hat vector points down, so my radial axis is uh, in the downward direction at that point. The net radial force will be a uh, mass of the car times g, the weight of the car, minus the normal force at a, and there will be a centripetal uh, force uh, that's going to point in the minus r hat direction, so the centripetal force is minus mass of the car v square divided by r because the car is moving with a constant speed, there's only one V. So we can see from this equation that the normal force exerted by the track will be equal to mass of the car times the gravitational acceleration G, so mass of the car parentheses, uh, it's going to be, uh, so this term will be taken to the left hand side, normal force to the right hand side, S of the car times g plus centripetal acceleration v square divided by r and this is because mass of the car is 1.6 kilograms 1.6 times gravitational acceleration is 9.8 the speed is 12.0 meters per second so 12 uh, square divided by r, r is 5 meters, 5. So this will give us, with three significant figures, 61.8 newtons. All right. So now we can move on to uh, point B. So in part B of the problem, uh, we need to look at the free body diagram at uh, point B. Now at point B, uh, as you can see here, we have the weight of the car pointing down, the normal force uh, from the track pointing down, and they're all pointing in the minus r hat direction. So in the free body diagram, I will show the weight of the car, which is mass of the car times gravitational acceleration, 
and then I will show also the uh, normal force the contact force from the track at point B and this is the radial axis now uh, pointing up so the net radial force will be equal to minus mass of the car times gravitational acceleration g the weight minus the normal force from the track is equal to uh, because the centripetal acceleration always points towards the center minus uh, mass of the car v square over r so the minus signs will uh, disappear and uh, I isolate the normal force at point B uh, and I need to take this to the right hand side and this will become mass of the car V square over R minus mass of the car times G and that will give me in mass of the car parentheses V square over R minus G gravitational acceleration so if I substitute mass of the car 1.6 kilograms the speed was 12 so it is 12 square uh, divided by 5 um, 5 meters minus 9.8 meters per second square so the normal force at point B at the top of the track will be equal to 30.4 newtons when we plug in the numbers and perform the calculation okay so uh, to summarize we have a remote controlled car that is moving at constant speed therefore performing uniform circular motion right so we should note that this is a uniform circular motion why because dv dt is zero it's a constant speed uh, and tangential speed is constant a tangential velocity will change direction uh, as we move along but the speed the magnitude of the tangential velocity is constant and it's moving in this vertical circle with radius 5 meters we want to know the normal force at the bottom of the track and at the top of the uh, track so we draw the free body diagram at the bottom which shows us that there is the weight of the car and the normal force from the track pointing towards the center and the radial axis is uh, radially outward axis is pointing down at this uh, point therefore the net centripetal force will be uh, due to the normal force minus the mass of car times g which is um, mv square over r so we can see that the normal force at point a it must be equal to mass of the car times g plus mass of the car times v square over r so mass of the car times g is in r hat direction normal force is in minus r hat direction centripetal force is in minus r hat direction so that's how i get the signs and therefore if i plug in the numbers for v12 r 5 meters 12 meters per second mass of the car 1.6 kilograms we obtain 61.8 newtons at point b things change a little bit the normal force is also pointing towards the center a mass of the car times g is towards the center therefore the net radial force is mass of the car times g plus the normal force equals mv square over r mass of the car v square over r we plug in the numbers and isolate the normal force at point b and the answer turns out to be 30.4 newtons up to three significant figures because all numbers here had three significant figures that's the minimum number of significant figures reported in the problem statement